and Stephanie, is the sound on? Yes. Yes. So they heard the sound of your voice saying yes. Yes. We had a technical difficulty yesterday. So we did the 32 with the interior, uh, but it didn't have sound for the first minute or two, so we deleted that. So basically, we're doing take two, and I think I have attention deficit disorder or whatever. I get bored really easy. And since we did this once, I'm like having a hard time getting focused for the second time. But here we go. We're live at 11.05 on BC. This is Spirit Cars. This is sponsored by spiritcars.com. We build hot rods. And what we're going to talk about today is um, our 32, our 32 tree window. I would shut the door for you to show you how awesome it fits, but this has got an external handle. But what we've done here, we've got the whole interior on this car. And rather than snap the panels together, we leave it kind of loose for the customer. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of go over what an interior kit is. And uh, it's how we do it. Eddie is, uh, is our upholstery guy, does a great job. He's got like a panel. Okay, so this is his pattern panel. And he does, uh, and he just drew this on this just to see what it would look like. So this isn't necessarily a pattern. It was a, all right, I like that. So he looked at it there and did that. But the board itself is a pattern to make a board out of, which is, this is an upholstery board. It's like a, a cardboard, but it's waterproof. Uh, you can slit it and bend it around. Um, it's just a really staple into it, glue on it. It's the backing for your, your door panel. And let me pull this door panel off, I'll show you. Now our handle here, it's a plastic piece, it's like a plastic wood, we cut and shape it, and he upholsters it. And instead of running screws into the door, we've got some, uh, little arms that go and they slide into the slots in the, in the body. So this is what holds it on, you can, once it goes under there, really clean, really nice. So here's a door panel, kind of like an OEM door panel. It's got pushing clips. I call them Christmas tree clips, but there's holes already around the whole thing. Just snap in where it goes. And you go and put it on. Just slip it back into the into the notch. Line up all these Christmas tree clips and snap it in hard. And it will hold real good. It'll pop off. But if you do it too many times, it uh, it tends to wear out a little bit. So we leave it off for the customer. That way, when he paints the car, then he can snap it on. So here's that panel I was talking about. The upholstery itself is, you actually have the upholstery, and then you have a foam underneath the upholstery, and they're glued together. You can see they're glued together. This is a piece for another another car, probably a tea bucket or something. And he's drawn on the back side a pattern that he's going to sew through. So he'll sew through that pattern, and once you sew through that pattern, you can see it's pretty flat right here. Here's just a little sample piece. He sewed through the pattern in the back. I feel like I'm on QA, QA1 or Q, what's that, QTV? What do they call that? No idea. Just to buy it on TV. You know, here's the jewelry and here's the thing. See it all? You think I want QVC, to that's what it is. <laughs> so anyway, this one is sewn, and this is the design he's got. If you can see, can you see the design in the door there? There's, can you see that in the picture? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I can see it pretty good, too. So there's, there's the design, and that's pretty much what uh, this would have been the other door. But he kind of decided that's what it was. Well, he changed his mind down here, it looks like. So this was just a pattern of what it might look like. And on the headliners, why don't you show the headliner up there? Underneath here. You can see the headliner is glued in. He left it kind of clean around the outside to give it more of a texture, but this is all ribbed and sewed the same way. And our headliner is glued on to this. There's a plas core that's up there, the fiberglass uh, roof, and then the plas core, and then more fiberglass, which really strengthens it. It gives you about a half inch of depth in the in the roof itself. So this glues right onto that. This board here, this is uh, that upholstery board that I was showing you. Same back here, but this is like a fiberglass piece here where it wraps around, and you can see it's got a real clean edge around the windows. So it wraps around, it's upholstered, and it snaps in. We have a overhead console here. The radio is going to go in the overhead console. 
dash. We got kick panels. This one happened to get speakers, so he went ahead and put the speakers in there. And you can see, once it's been glued, this has got just a little bit of a design, not much. But once it's been glued on, he takes and wraps it around the edge and staples all the edge. This has already been pre-fit before the upholstery even goes on. He'll just set it up where it goes, go right through the, the upholstery board end into the car then. You can see the, it's got the design runs back into the, into the body a little bit. So when you close the door, it all matches up and looks good. Upholstery is one of those things that's, uh, for me, it's a little bit intimidating because I don't do it very much. I guess I could run a sewing machine. I could figure out some, but a guy like Eddie has done it a long time, and and he just he can see something in there that how he can finish the side and do it, and, and I wouldn't even have seen it. Uh, it's like that finished carpenter. You get your house all rough, rough carpenter gets it all up there, and you got a structure with a roof on it, but then until that finished carpenter comes in, it doesn't really look nice and tight and clean and tidy. And a finished carpenter can make it either look nice or you can make it look sloppy, the same with an upholstery guy. So I'm not saying this isn't something you can try at home, but um, for me it's just one of those things that's a little more difficult. It's, it's Eddie's specialty here and it's definitely not my specialty. So even though we all do a lot of different things. So here's our 32. 32 three window, suicide doors. Cool looking car, we do a five window also. Um, I thought I'd show you the interior packages. We do interior packages for all our cars, so whether it be the C-Cab, the 33, 34, the 32, three-window, five-window, the 23s, the 27s. Um, we just got a, a package for all that that just snaps in. Uh, the thing about it, though, is if you're wanting to get the package with the car, we really, it works so much better if you get it when you order the car. That way we can custom fit it to the car. And again, this will come out of here. The carpets aren't even glued down yet. They're just, everything's in here. It can all be taken out when you get it home. It comes apart real easy, except for the headliner that's glued in. You can paint the car, and then when you're all done wiring and everything else, just snap the interior back in. So kind of a quickie for today. There's, there's an interior on a 32. This is getting crated and leaving today, so I uh, thought I'd show it to you before we, we send it out. Pass it on. Ernie, hot rod buddy of mine, wrote these. So we just kind of end our little little deal every day with this. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Can you hum? I hear you hum. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Humming a happy tune transforms a problem into a fun puzzle. Well, I better start humming because I got some fun puzzles going on over there and I'm actually working in the chassis shop this afternoon building some gas tanks, so I uh, haven't done that for a while. I may have designed them in the first place 10, 15, 20 years ago, but I haven't built one for quite a while. Uh, we're excited. We've got a couple great chassis builders coming in. One's working part-time now. He's getting ready to go full-time, and we've got a guy coming down from Wichita. He's going to be here in a couple of weeks, so we are pretty excited to fill up a big empty space in the, in the crew, so that'll... It'll help us maybe get caught up a little bit. So for today, today's what? Tuesday. That's it for 11.05, and we'll see you tomorrow.